Welcome to Game Devs Play Games. Uh, we are playing our second run or episode of I mean, whatever what what the the, 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 <laughs> the aquatic adventure of the last human. Did I get it right? The aquatic adventure of the last human. Good. All right. Cool. It's it's a good name. It's just I forget it. I mean, that's fair. Because I have the intelligence of an uh, infant. The great facility of District 7 generates more than enough energy to sustain itself. It also powers most of our media databases. Basically, it means that messages like this very message might last far longer than us. Ooh. Press A button to close. Press A button to close. <laughs> <laughs> so... Upgrade. That actually oh, that actually tells us a little bit about oh, okay. what the late game is going to be like. So District 7 is basically where we're going to be trying to get to the entire game. Um, and it gives us sort of a glimpse at what District 7 is like. I mean, we can kind of assume, right? Because McDonald's. McAdee's. Also, uh, these things. I really, really, really wish harpoons caused them to explode. You'll You'll find later on. I guess this is District 7, but we can't... I don't think we can get in here yet. Oh, this is really cool, though. Oh, and you can go behind. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love yeah. when games do that. It's like, ooh, what secrets? What secrets can there be? Right? I, I think... I mean, there. I don't think they had any secrets behind there. No. But I think it does add sort of a an extra level of... I mean, obviously depth, but it adds... Um, sense of exploration oh. yeah exactly oh, look at that you can't get to that yeah so we gotta find something that can get to that right isn't that clever that is very smart it's it, it's things like that that made me really happy about this game too because they knew how to utilize um super metroidvania style yeah exactly it, like, it, it, here's it, a thing you understand but we're gonna put it in a different way now you're like oh shit and it's it's such a oh facility is is where all the shit is so we can't go there yet because as we go deeper, it's going to be like, need lantern to continue, or like, lantern advised. I think we can still go through there, but we, uh, we'll we just not be able to see anything. So we obviously can't get through here because there's the this jazz. Also a freaking out jellyfish. I was going to say, is that part of like <laughs> being like, oh, we're just letting you know you can't pass this? No, that's just RNG, man. All right. Awesome. Um, but for some reason, our harpoons can't even get through there. Why are those pipes glowing? So the pipes glow actually because we can destroy them with missiles that we get later on. Ah. The city of the future in partnership with Gogoplex, Googleplex, 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 and Edison Motors Architect Saga S S Jesus has given us the new age of subaquatic housing luxury. Press A to close. Press A, press A to close. <laughs> You're remembering to do that more <laughs> better than I am. Yep. Okay, so really this area is kind of good at showing us like, hey, hey go back. there's a lot of areas that we can't go to. <sighs> That's lazy. Are you talking about visually or? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> well, okay, there's a reason why. Okay. Um, when we get the torpedo, it only shoots directly to the left or the right. So it has to have that curve, otherwise there won't be any way you can actually hit it. Okay. Well, uh, I think, though, that there still would have been a better way. Like a diagonal or a... I don't know. It's it, just I weird. Mean, it's, it's like, that shouldn't even be possible. It's, I feel like you're almost breaking physics. Yeah. No, I, I agree. It's very like... Did we read this one? It's very I don't like... I think so early level design kind of stuff that you'd see in games like Echo the Dolphin. Fair enough. This is humanity's home now. This is the new era. The time of prosperity and peace, of ecology and uh, oneness with the earth. The time for life below the surface is now. Proceed to close. So you chose to live in the waters. So I think the plot goes that uh, the world suddenly became submerged in water. Um, they, they they seem to suggest it's because of something like global warming or, or uh, climate change. Um, Any number of like natural reasons why we would all get submerged underwater. I mean, they, they kind of like direct it toward m current events in the world. So like they do kind of say like, you know, they don't say global warming. I think the correct term now is just climate change, but... Oh my, look at the change in the atmosphere. I'm sorry, oh, that, yeah. like, that like that was me. No, this is a good transition. Look how smooth that is. 
It's so subtle, and then it's like, wow, it's I'm going to a new light, area. And it freaks me out, to be perfectly honest. What colors are going on? Is it like oranges? Uh huh. The the it's it has a very orangish uh, yellow glow to it. Okay. Like as and with all the plants, it's as if you were like next to the sun itself. Okay, so this is another area we can't go to yet. So are you closer to the equator now? Um, maybe. I, I think mean, it's more I don't about even the think plant it's life. This bright under the equator. No. Anyway, so, I guess that's a not a really good. <laughs> a silent arrow pierced the dew and into the mad eyes of civilization. Kum Kumai. Kumi. Kumi. Kumi Harvester. New book on the fall of democracy out in January, thirty sixteen. Press the A button to close. So, so far everything that we've seen actually isn't too, f too different from the demo. Do those things hurt you? Yes, they do. Okay. That's why I'm avoiding them. It, yeah, I guess it's not very obvious that they would hurt you, other than like, I guess the separator is that they have particle effects, right? And I guess they move really fast. Um, and even if you get hit by them, it's not like it's going to kill you immediately like the boss will. I mean, I, I just watched as you didn't go down in that one area, so I assume you've already explored there and there's just nothing. There is... Ooh, okay, I thought I could still go up here. Um, there is stuff down there. I'm trying to get upgrades before we go to the next boss is sort of what I'm... Whoa, it's another one! Did this not happen when you were playing? I think it did. I just... It's been a little while since I played through the earlier part of the game. I literally beat the game earlier today. Boom. Press the A button to close this message. Oh, it's the hall upgrade. Yeah, buddy. All right, we're going to go down to these guys. We're going to go fight this guy. You know, these guys aren't as tough as uh, as a lot of the other bosses, but man, when I played the demo, I had a hard time with the stallions, or the fathers, because if you get caught in their web of uh, seahorse babies, you going to die. you going to die real quick. Oh, but we have two Can hull upgrades. Shoot them? Can you shoot the babies? No. Oh, okay. So they you are just, have to just be a swarm. Yup. Oh, and they just. Oh. Oh, what just happened? I guess they can blow me in a direction. I did not. <laughs> I don't remember that, but. Proud stallions of the sea. All right. All right. We're gonna get these guys. Oh, not if they almost I mean. kill you in one hit. See what I mean? Oh. So uh, one thing that's interesting to note about this oh, is this okay. game has no uh, invincibility after getting hit. And Actually, you can tell because you just got hit like a million times by one blast. That is single-handedly my main complaint about the game. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Um, there are a lot of bosses that will insta-kill you because you get caught in between like... Something like that. Two, two different things, actually. It's like... Um, like, we'll fight an octopus later. If you get caught in between his two tentacles, you'll just die. Because there's nowhere for you to go, and you just take, like, damage, cons like, constantly. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's not... It stops being fun in, <laughs> it, when that happens. Like, there are a lot of bosses that thrive on that. Um, but it's so challenging sometimes, because there's it's just so much stuff going on. There's so many things going on that there's almost no way to avoid it sometimes rng just kills you oh um and that's and for a skill based game like this rng is not really yeah. what you want exactly. so it probably could have used just a little more work on the ai as well as the invincibility thing you're talking about i think had there just been like a one second invincibility it would have made it a lot oh god there are bigger ones too it would have made the game the, the challenge is a lot more bearable um with that said, I still think the game is a lot of fun, and we'll really, really get to see it during, I think, maybe the third or fourth boss? It's hard to... I think it's actually the, the fourth or fifth boss, because I know what's coming up next after these guys. Um, but I'm glad you noticed that too, because it actually took me a while to realize what exactly it was that was frustrating me um, with some of the bosses and yeah. it's exactly that is the lack of invincibility well it's because like when when they're shooting a swarm of those little guys at you sometimes it almost kills you in one hit and sometimes it does barely anything at all exactly and, and it's that's because you're getting hit by multiple or not and like it works for a boss like this i think because that's sort of the intention is that if you if you're grazed it's just gonna like hurt you a little bit mm -hmm. um but it's not gonna be a death sentence 
where whereas um, you know if you're not careful and you get hit dead on then it penalizes you for that so it's I think from that end it's actually kind of a well-designed boss battle um, you got this no don't get blown I got this I got this he's so close just finish him off take risks there, there you go. go this game is not about taking risks it it very much penalizes you when you do so I was gonna say are those things still attacking you while that thing is on the screen no I think they still can hurt you if you touch them but boom saw boom James we got a saw look at this dead body floating Man, the screen away. got so dark so okay when before when we started the game um, before we even started capturing anything I uh, they they go through a little like you know change the gamma on the game to mm-hmm. you know so that you can just barely see the fish and I definitely was like nope I refuse because I know what happens if you follow that rule you can't see anything during certain parts um, yeah. there's one upgrade that we'll get called the lantern and it helps you see in dark areas but my god it is not enough um, it was it was one boss battle in particular that made me go back to the options and turn the gamma all the way up because uh, it honestly didn't feel fair anymore where would they put a saw right after a saw saw right after a saw well, you I mean like, like a, that thing you have to like saw through it I mean like um I think it's probably just to be like, hey, now you can, like, keep progressing. Huh. It's, I, I agree. I mean, it's not like I'm complaining about it. I'm just curious, like, if there was a difference in the just murder. Oh, God. Can you saw that? I, I, so this is, I'm, I'll probably die a lot to the mines until I get the torpedoes, but uh, I have a hard time seeing them. Maybe it's because I'm really? colorblind. Yeah, I, they sneak up on me a lot. To be fair, it's usually when I'm in a dark area, uh, right? Go and back. Go you have back. a limited field of view. Oh, we what can we... fast travel. Oh, we can? Yeah. Oh, well, uh, oh, we, we can fast episode. travel, and that's a good point to leave out on this episode. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh, question of the day. I want to ask about the, the, the invincibility. Mm. Um, do you think for a game like this it should be necessary? Because that's, that's pretty traditional in Metroidvanias, right? It's actually, in any game like that at all, it's very traditional, just about in any game. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, I agree. It's, I feel like it's too easy to make the game too challenging mm-hmm. by not having that, and that's why it became a thing in the first place. Yeah, man. Um, so, yeah, I guess the question is, do you think that it's necessary for a game like this? And we'll continue to see how it hurts or helps us as we play, but, uh, yeah. yeah. Until then. Until then. Press A to close. (laughs) See you guys.